Hi, my name is Musa and I am part of the content team at Amateur Photographer and today I'm joined by Isabella who's also part of the content team and we're talking all things Instax. Um, so Isabella here is our Instax expert. So she's going to be teaching us a thing or two about film cameras. So Isabella, talk us through the range of Instax cameras that we have in front of us and that are available. All right, so you've got, um, well, for one, you have all the film cameras just film. Uh, you have the minis, the... Well, no, sorry, these just look so much alike. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the Instax SQ40, that's film. Yeah, okay. And we have the Instax Mini... Oh, oh SQ40 and Mini 40. Yeah. Those are <laughs> film cameras. And that is the Instax, Instax Mini 12. Yes. Amazing. Um, and so wide as well also? Yeah. The wide 300? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you've got all those sizes, which this one, you get mini, uh, this, that's your square size, okay. Let's hold them up for comparison, actually. Yes, yeah. so let's do that. And okay. get so you've wide. got the square, wide, and the mini. Perfect. Um, oh, and you have both color and black and white. Amazing. Um, so, um, a word on these. Um, these, uh, there used to be one, the Instax 90, that had a lot more controls. It used to have an LCD screen. It had so many shooting modes. Um, just looking at it, it just looks a lot like a traditional camera. Okay. Almost. Um, and then now what we've got is more simpler controls. Um, these one, uh, these are just known for their like, you know, pastel hued uh, colors and um, and then this one, which this recently released camera, the 6 SQ40, actually looks very much so like it. So this is sort of similar body. And you were saying that this is one of your favorites? Yeah, um, it is. And why is that? Well, it's one of my favorites because, um, well, I love the design, honestly. I mean, I, I love these. Mm -hmm. But I think this one just wins for me. Okay. It looks very classic, very, uh, and also it's because it's a bit bigger. You get bigger, um, like film, and um, I feel like it's really nice for like composition-wise, okay. and for portraits, which I just love taking with this camera because you just engage with people, oh, and yeah. it's just great to talk to people about the camera as well, and everybody's just really excited about it. Okay. And if we were talking price range, what's the price range of getting an instant camera? So the Insex Mini 12 is the least expensive one of this bunch. It is £79.99 and the most expensive one isn't here because it's the most popular one. Yeah. It's the Insex Mini Evo um, and that one is £179.99. And I know you just wrote a whole article just about this tiny little camera. Oh, yeah. Can you talk us through this? Because this obviously yeah. stands out from the rest of the camera bodies. It does. So this one, it's one of the... Because you know how I was saying about you know all the film cameras? Mm -hmm. This one is one of the hybrids. Because mm -hmm. you have the film cameras and then you have printers, which they all print, you know, mini, square, and wide. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then you have the hybrid cameras. So the... Um, for example, the Mini Evo, you can like, you take pictures, you take them digitally, mm -hmm. and then you can decide whether you want to print them out or not. Okay. That's also how the Leap Play works, and you can also use it as a smartphone printer. Okay. Uh, this one is different because it's just all digital. It doesn't actually print a tiny, you know. I did try to like take pictures with this, and it's just a completely different experience. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I think yeah. later on when you do have our little photo walk, I'm definitely going to try that camera out. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay, so what makes the Instax Pol completely different from the rest of the cameras that Fujifilm has on its Instax range? So what makes it different is it's actually all digital. Mm -hmm. It does not print any film at all. Okay. So um, say I wanted to print mm -hmm. the photos that I've taken. You said that it has a slot for an SD card and mm -hmm. it also has internal storage. Uh, yes. Okay. And it also sends uh, the pictures to your phone. Okay. And then if I did want to print those photos, how would I go about that? Um, actually, on your phone, you can select if you want to uh, take pictures in mini, square, or wide print. Okay. So when you get it on your phone, you get it as though it, it were a print. Okay. And then you can decide to print that. Okay. But you do have to be mindful of like 
what size you're taking photos in for because for example I was taking wide and then I realized I only have you know the mini printer okay. <laughs> so I can't actually print that photo um, but yeah basically you I would connect it to this printer and I can print mini okay um, that's pretty cool film um, and I'm curious as someone who's never quite used instant cameras how are they um, powered is it battery or they do they have internal batteries rechargeable ones how, how are they powered oh yeah yeah that's how you how you, that's how you um that's how this one is powered okay um for this one you do need batteries so i'm looking to buy my first instant camera from the instax range um what do the cameras have in common or what are the main differences that would make me think oh maybe this over that one um, so a preferred size and every end mm -hmm. there's of course the colors mm -hmm. um, Depends if you want something more classic like an SQ40 or if you want the fun, you know pastel colors of uh, the insects mini 12 Or if you want you want to do some street photography without yeah. anyone noticing you. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah, Just you know clicking at people it yeah. actually clicks. Yeah um, So yeah, it's really fun. Uh, so yeah, if you want to be adventurous uh, Insects Mini Paul is okay. the one for you. <laughs> and body-wise, are there any key differences, similarities? There are a few things, like for example, surprisingly, this one has a tripod mount. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a tripod mount. So does this one. Um, right there, them. okay. Uh, this one does have like, you know, like the viewfinder is a bit to the side, mm -hmm. which some people have had issues with um, and um, these are usually they have like parallax correction so it kind of helps with that okay. and um, they also have very few modes in general so they're very easy to use mm -hmm. um, for example this one um, you open up the you know the, the lens and you have the on which is just like the standard mode and a close-up so that can be used for selfies and you know close-ups but you'll you always have to be a bit careful because i think the minimum focusing distance of most of these is like 0 0.3 um and most of them have this selfie mirror which helps you you know like when taking selfies you can like see yourself in it um honestly another reason why i like the nsax s 40 is because that mirror is just a bit bigger mm. And it's, it's actually become a trend now where um, I, I shoot quite a bit of weddings and it's become a trend where people have Polaroid cameras mm -hmm. or Instax cameras um, all around tables so that guests can mm -hmm. actually just pick up and take a few photos and you know make memories of their own um, at a wedding. So I, I guess that selfie mode actually does, does make a difference. Yeah, it does. And it's also very much um, like something that this range does very well, which is it makes fun cameras. Uh, they're easy to use and you know that you can engage with yeah well i'm looking forward to trying out these cameras and uh, as we go to the street and sort of have a little powwow with the cameras and i learn how to actually use an instant camera um, in real life so thank you so much for watching this video um, please do comment like subscribe are you an instax user which camera do you have would love to hear from you so leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next video bye, bye.